When your Rheem water heater won't turn on, the first step is identifying whether you have an electric or gas model, then checking the appropriate power source. First, determine your water heater type. Electric models use electrical heating elements, while gas models burn natural gas or propane to heat water. For electric water heaters, start by checking the circuit breaker panel. Look for any tripped breakers and reset them if necessary. Also verify the power switch on the unit is in the on position. For gas water heaters, check that the gas valve is fully open by turning it counterclockwise. Verify there are no interruptions in the gas line and that your main gas supply is active. If you're using LPG tanks, check the gas level indicator. The gauge should show adequate fuel levels. Replace or refill the tank if it's running low. For gas water heaters, inspect the pilot light. If it's not lit, follow your owner's manual instructions to safely relight it. The pilot assembly includes an igniter and flame sensor. Modern Rheem water heaters display error codes on their control panels. These codes help identify specific problems. Consult your owner's manual to understand what each code means and the recommended troubleshooting steps. By systematically checking power supply, gas connections, pilot lights, and error codes, you can identify and resolve most common startup issues with your Rheem water heater. The first step in checking your water heater's internal components is verifying the thermostat temperature setting. The ideal temperature should be set between 120 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which is approximately 60 degrees Celsius. For electric water heaters, the reset button is a crucial component for troubleshooting. This button is typically red in color and located behind an access panel on the unit. You'll need a screwdriver to remove the panel cover. A common cause of no hot water in electric heaters is a faulty heating element. Compare a clean functioning element with a corroded one. Sediment buildup and corrosion can prevent proper heating and reduce efficiency. Sediment accumulation is another common issue that affects water heater performance. Regular tank flushing removes mineral deposits and debris that settle at the bottom of the tank, improving efficiency and extending the unit's lifespan. If these troubleshooting steps don't resolve the issue, it's time to contact a qualified plumber or HVC technician. Professional service is recommended for complex electrical work, gas line issues, or when multiple components need replacement.